Hi everybody, welcome back to Vague Ramblings with a new Vague releasing, and I have something very exciting to announce. Uh, I have been hoping that this would happen, but you know, you, you never know, especially since it does involve one of my personal favorite films. Um, I know I say that a lot, but this is literally one of my top favorite films, and I am obviously wearing the right shirt for this occasion. And that is indeed the fact that Scream Factory just announced that it is doing a new collector's edition of Creepshow. And I have so wanted this for the longest time. You know, there was the original Blu-ray release uh, that came out several years ago by Warner Brothers. And basically, it you know, it had the film and it had the trailer. What was kind of frustrating about that was the fact that Warner Brothers has sort of not done anything with Creepshow. Back in the DVD days, you know, they had the DVD release, which was, again, the same thing. It had the movie, it had uh, the trailer. And then there was the UK release of Creepshow, which had a bunch of special features, had a commentary track, it had that uh, great documentary just desserts which was produced by red shirt pictures now that was region locked to the uk so unless you were region free of course none of us got that over here so when warner brothers decided to put that on blu-ray uh, i know michael felsher who runs red shirt pictures went to warner brothers and said hey you know we have all this extra stuff we want to you know you want to just put uh pay for the rights and you can put add it to your blu-ray release and warner Bros. was like nope so they released just a bare bones disc with a decent transfer it wasn't great but it wasn't bad and of course arrow did their release of creep show 2 which was a really great release despite some uh over scan issues where you saw a little bit too much of the left side of the frame but aside from that it was a fantastic release and it sort of it seems like scream factory is actually doing a very smart thing here and actually doing a similar release and what I mean by that is the fact that much like the release of Nightbreed and also like Arrow's release of Creepshow 2 and some of their other releases it is actually going to be in more of a box release it's not just going to be in the in a blu-ray case with a slip cover it's actually going to be in one of those sort of more sturdier boxes which I really love so I'm actually really excited that they're going to be releasing this the new artwork, I think, is amazing. I absolutely adore it. Now, this is going to be available pretty wide, but there is a release that is strictly to uh, Scream Factory. So if you order it directly from them, uh, you know, you get the usual that it'll come out two weeks early. And you also get a lithograph of that new artwork, which I think is amazing. And also an alternate um 18 by 24 poster with some other work, which I think is also very cool. And what I love too is that on the Blu-ray itself, the inside cover is going to be reversible with uh, both the teaser artwork and the theatrical artwork, which I mean, it's just like, it's a win-win all across the board because the outer box obviously has the new artwork. The inner sleeve has uh, the reversible of both kinds of theatrical artwork comes with a collectible booklet. Now, a lot of extras have not been announced yet. Outside of the artwork and uh, the fact that it's going to be uh, much more of a sturdy box and it will come with a, a very cool collectible booklet uh, with a lot of essays and pictures and things like that. Uh, obviously, it's still kind of early, so they haven't announced anything beyond that. They haven't announced specifics to what the transfer is going to be like. So I don't know if that's an ongoing issue with Warner Brothers. You know, it could be something where they may be trying to do a 4K transfer. It might be Warner Brothers is doing a new transfer of their own, and then they'll give it to Scream Factory. Um, I don't know. I I'm sure there's a lot of factors involved that uh, they'll announce at a later time as well as what extras are going to be on it you know there are no extras announced right now i'm going to assume that at least some of the pre-existing extras will be ported over from that uk set for example the commentary track that was on that which um had george romero tom savini and uh, was moderated by michael felser I, I, I there might have been someone else on that I'm, I'm blanking at the moment i'd assume that would be on there they may bring in the just desserts if you you know that's a documentary that was put out uh by synapse you know again it was created specifically for the uk dvd way back in the, uh, 2007 i think somewhere around there over the years uh michael felser actually was able to get just the documentary released and through synapse synapse did so is a release that has just desserts which is you know it's documentary that's i think almost i think it's almost like an hour and a half on its own 
and uh, but they threw in a lot of other cool extras, including the uh, Scream Greats release of Tom Savini, uh, which was uh, something I love dearly. You know, it goes back to like 1986 and a bunch of other stuff, which was really cool. Um, I mean, that alone, I would recommend picking up anyway, if you haven't already. That may or may not be on this release. I don't know. Uh, it's possible. And of course, there's all kinds of new things they could do as well. Even if they just poured it over those existing extras and just gave it a brand new beautiful transfer and everything. I mean, I would already be in a hog heaven. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. I'm over the moon. Uh, I'm sure you can tell. I'm just like, I'm just like really super excited for this release. Creepshow is just one of my favorite films. I'm just ecstatic that they're really, even just at the moment, they're just, they're doing it the right way. So again, if you go for the limited release, uh, it's limited to 1500. Uh, if you get it directly, that's if you, that's only if you want the extra artwork, um, kind of, you know, the, the posters and, and things, which I did. I mean, I ordered it right away. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, is it mine? And if you just want the Blu-ray itself, I mean, that'll be available everywhere, you know, Amazon and whatnot, uh, Diabolique and all those places. The release date is set for October 23rd. Um, they did not say this. I'm just going to put this out there. I'm going to say that's a tentative date. Um, I'm hoping it sticks to that because obviously I want this, you know, sooner and later. But because it sounds like there's still so much that needs to be figured out and the fact that it is July, you know, I'd rather they, this not be a rushed release. So I'm just going to add the tentative um, on my part just because I want this done right. But I am so excited, you know, and, and this is also, again, this opens up so many opportunities of uh, other releases that Screen Factory can do of titles that uh, Warner Brothers has under the Because Warner Brothers, um, while they do... For the most part, uh, they do really nice transfers and stuff. But, um, you know, they've been kind of dropping the ball, uh, you know, especially a lot of the horror titles. So it's nice to know that it's, you know, this whole relationship between Scream Factory and Warner Brothers exists. And we're getting some of the releases we have, especially for me <laughs> with Creepshow. Unfortunately, I don't think this has anything to do with other releases such as, you know, Dawn of the Dead or Martin or anything like that. Cause again, that's still tied up with Richard Rubenstein. So that's a whole other issue. That's, you know, as I did the Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray uh, video recently, I've rambled on enough. I'm super excited about this release. Hopefully some of you are as well. Uh, October is our, man, it is filling up with some fantastic releases already, you know, and even, I mean, I mean, between Creepshow and then the other day they announced the, you know, Halloween 2, Halloween 3 seal books that'll have the the new transfers on those. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a, an expensive but a very exciting October. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.